last four feet for the So just find your feet and have the feet shoulder width apart. So we're, we're very, very, very slowly working through the um, short form. A very slow pace. And, uh, we're also going to have a, have a little look at the um, go through the bug run gym just as a little warm up. What's and all kind of thing. So we'll just, we'll just start turning the waist. Breathing in and out. Uh, hopefully we can have some more people. That would be nice with these new adverts I've put out. Could, could do with some more people in the classroom. Yeah. So. <laughs> so breathe in and out. Feel the ground under your feet and lengthen through the spine. Feel the head float up, feel the hips sink back and down. And you're softly gazing forward as you listen behind the back. Notice the, notice your breathing. So notice the breath as it goes in and hopefully this room will heat up. <laughs> It got quite warm this morning when we got to the first hour, we were all a bit oh, cold. Yeah. But then when we got to the second hour, it was nice and toasted by then, so it was all right. But, um, well, it it's does seem hot. Well, it's a big old, um, it's a big old um, room to heat up, that's the problem. Yeah. And they've got like, what, one, two, three, four radiators, and then also any other part. But I. I said to Mike that runs it, I said, look, we'll just have that moved over because then it helps preserve some of the heat. Um, but we're just feeling the ground under the feet, breathing in and breathing out. So hopefully seeing the cascoos tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what they Corel seems to do these really complicated convoluted things that are really hard to do and it and melt people's brains, but sometimes ever teaches we do things like shake and bounce. Okay, and then back to bounce, and then we'll just do, go whiz through the loosening, whiz through the loosening. So remember, you're keeping your feet flat on the ground. You 
You want to you wanna really plant your feet on the ground. So check the alignment of your feet as well. So it's like really rooted. And you've got a bit that's moving, but also you've got your bit, the... Seek the inner quietness as well. Keep breathing some more, very nice. Very nice. And turn the palms up. Feel that the chest is open, that you're lengthening along the spine, the head suspending through the head, sinking through the feet, letting go and loose and sinking in the hips. Four more, four, three, two, one, and change. So you want to keep your feet still and connected to the ground. So you want to hold with the, draw the toes in so that you activate the arch of the feet and sink down. That's it. Okay, it's a little bit too much foot movement going on. <laughs> try, try and get to move a lot less. So. Look what I'm doing, my feet are just staying still. There'll be a little bit of movement, but especially when you're coming up, think, really plant the feet. So what you don't want to avoid is that kind of stuff. You want to avoid losing the connection between your feet and the ground. So think of it more as the hips coming up, sinking down, the hips coming up, sinking down. That's it. That's better. Okay. So it's especially important when we go on for things like form. Uh, one, one of my teachers said that um, he has a teacher um, and they go through the 24 step so slowly it takes them a whole hour. It takes them an hour to do a seven minute form. So you can imagine how slow, it must be really interminable. I would, I'd, I'd, I'd go, that'd be terrible. But they do it really, really, really slowly. And then the other thing they do in class, okay, we'll just change to this one. The other thing they do in class is, one person will do the form, and then the other students will just do gentle pushes while the person's doing the form, so they can really check that they're doing their route. To the ground, so they're not trying to shove, shove them over because that's not cooperative. So it's um, when when we're allowed to actually physically touch each other in class and do things like pushing hands and stuff, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm just waiting for waiting for the Tai Chi Union to say, right, you can push hands now. But um, the problem is, while we're in this sort of halfway house, we've just got to keep being quite careful. But they, they'll do a thing like, they'll be doing like maybe part of the wild horses moving really, really, really slowly and people come and push. And it's a really good way of checking that you're nice and grounded. So just decide to keep your feet moving. Rather than anything you can't afford. It's like, right, I'm going to do this. And then you do it. It's good. It's like it's like when you're doing sword. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put the sword video up again on the YouTube channel. I did put it on before, but the problem is there's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, so I'm gonna put it up again. <laughs> okay. And change again. Oh, before you do it, feet check. Check that your feet have got good contact with the ground. 
And then once you check the feet, then you check your hips. And then once you check your hips that are sinking, then you check your head that's suspended. Then you do the move. But obviously, in real time, you do that a lot quicker, that check. You want to you wanna sort of get... Um, I was on quite a lot of music duty over the, the weekend. And... Um, It's quite a useful thing to every now and then before I do anything, and I'm, I've noticed I'm doing that in music as well, I'll check my posture and go, okay, am I, am I lined up right? Now I can play my fiddle and, and you know, it's... Keep breathing. morning's class and this evening's class up on YouTube ASAP um, that Robin it was singing in the first two classes and it's song slightly different than the song from this morning it's very interesting so do be aware of what you can hear do be aware of what you can hear but it's, it's a little bit more animated in the evening. Quite interesting, that. Mm. A bit more than it's sleeping. <laughs> I don't know, because there's this robin that um, sits on this tree right next door to the railway line where I live, and it basically sings all night long. I, I remember thinking, what's that amazing tune? And waking up, and then I looked at them, and it was like 2 a.m., and I was like, you little... <laughs> and, um, and then I had to open my door just to listen to its songs. It's amazing. And I get my recorder out. I thought, well, I can't listen to it. I'll listen to it later. I'll put my recorder so I can hear it. And uh, quite amazing. But you wanna, you wanna use the sounds as a way of. You, it's very easy in this art to kind of go off and lose your your centre and lose your. So that's another thing. While we want to really keep in our feet, we're really keeping the feet. Okay, let's shake out. We just do a little bit of loosening and then we'll go straight to the Budwan Jin because that. Um, mm -hmm. So we just sink back, sink forward, and watch the alignment of your knees with your toes. Keep breathing. Breathing, lengthen through the spine, feel the head float up. And then 
Try that on the other side. So start with your Wuchi again, feet, tune into your feet. <coughs> That's like, um, mm. so on, on the foot contact, I would say for Tai Chi, Tai Chi Chuan, I would say this is crucial because I'm off to Sabat next. So I'm going to have to skedaddle pretty sharpish to get there for seven o'clock. It's as crucial as having a guard, having a good guard up when you're doing French kickboxing or Thai boxing or anything like that. You don't want to um, foot contact. It's as kind of fundamental and sinking your hips is as fundamental as foot contact and also dropping the shoulders and the alignment. You want to, you want to, those things, there's always room for improvement and they're always if you're losing focus, it's usually one of them things that go, like you lose the contact with the feet, or you, you'll be off slightly, or, you know, I think. Well, that's what I'm observing at the moment. It might change. These things do change. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sink back and turn, and sit forward and turn. I was, did, did anyone get to Mike's 12.30 class? Did you get to it? What, today, today. No. No. Okay. Oh, I don't know what he did. I'll find out. I'll look on the YouTube video to see. It's a really good class. He teaches the online class of twelve. I can't always make it. Sometimes I'm teaching. So, um, um, very, very good. But he's really getting into the sort of meditative aspects of his art and the, the being very calm and noticing what you're doing, m noticing how you're moving. Okay, let's change sides. So we're gonna we're gonna do it slow. I'll just show you from the um, side view. So we sit back and we're doing the sleepy tight eye thing, and then we turn and we sink forward and then we turn. Yeah, there's some absolutely terrible jokes this morning. In so you'll really enjoy that, and you also get a mention, you know, because you were threatening to come, then you didn't. So it was like. <laughs> <laughs> so you can watch it later. Um, yeah. Oh dear. I have to tell them. Unfortunately, I have a social life. Well, it's good that you've got a social. You know, don't knock social lives. I wouldn't know. Yeah. But um, no offence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just here. I was doing useful things. No, but social lives are good because they help you keep calm and they, they're good for connection and stuff. So it's, it's really good. Okay, we're going to do two turns. Well, the theory of the social life. Sort of. Well, my work's quite social anyway. So let me sit back. I was, I was awake on, on, on Friday and... Um, there's a guy, there's a fiddle player, a Scottish fiddle player, and he goes, oh, hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm fine. He goes, when's the last time we met? At the funeral five years ago. Because <laughs> we obviously were both musicians, so that's where we meet. We were both going, oh, hello again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. So we've, we've decided, why don't we meet up and have a jam or something? And that's not that's being at a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, hmm. yeah. It can be like that, it can get you like a couple of Well, when you can do a thing, yeah, like wedding, <laughs> interviewing rules, you know, when you can yeah. do a thing like play music or whatever, then, then that will, people will go, oh, so-and-so's having a memorial, can you come and do some, you know. Oh. I mean, you're in a choir, aren't you? Do you get... Chorus. Chorus, yeah. As opposed to choir. Oh, what's the difference? Um, choir stands there with music. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I can't read music very well at all. We're not choral. Okay. We don't sing choral music. You sing fun music. We sing modern music. Show music. music. Show music. Oh, great. That sounds oh, great. Oh, lovely, yeah. That sounds great. Okay, yeah. forwards and back. So we'll just do this. We're in with the greatest show at the moment. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't get any kit off, though, for that funny one. <laughs> I've not actually, I've seen bits of it, but I've not actually seen it all the way through, so is it good? I have. No, yeah. you have. Do you like it? Okay, mm -hmm. right. 
recommendation from Amy, so uh, we all want to watch it. Uh, go see that one. No, I've that seen all the Kung Fu Pandas, I mean, but that's... Not quite the same. <laughs> not quite the same, no. no. Okay. Still trying to learn from now on. Um, it's got a some of the songs are quite complicated in shows. It's you know, so it's, got it's, 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 it's got a bass on the beat. <laughs> yeah, and it's getting the leads to stay in time with the bass. Oh, no. And end up at the same put at the right point at the right yeah. time. Okay, try that the other side. So two turns and then falls and back. Keep breathing very nice. And then forwards and back again. And then what we'll do, we'll do the stepping. So this is one of, one of the ones that might, we'll show you from the side. So you bring your left foot in and your left foot out. Who sang the hokey cokey originally? Black lace. Black lace, oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. So we're stepping forward, <laughs> stepping back. Oh dear. No, it's um uh, I think it might be Emma that does does like references to nursery rhymes and her thing. We're oh. all just calling about now. So when we do the bud one gin, we'll do five each, I think, because so you want to want the leg to come in, then out. In. So you want to get a shoulder width gap between the feet. So place your feet, so heel toe at the front, toe heel at the back, heel toe at the front, toe heel at the back. And I brought the orange shoes so the computer people watching people watching the video can actually see what my feet are doing. I might get some jajar, like bright horrid pink ones, so they'll be nice and bright. And really yuck coloured shoes, really good for Tai Chi people, because then you can see the feet. And um, Perel, he's got a pair of bright luminous gloves, but if we're training outside, he'll put these bright and they're, they're almost like the gloves are, are floating. Okay. And change. So it goes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping that foot flat on the floor. It'll move a little bit. And nice and tall. One more time each side, very nice. Okay, great. Uh, okay, let's... Um, Let's get the arms really nice and relaxed. So before we do the bad one, Jin, let's do um, open close, and um, we'll do Master Chung's exercise for getting the arms nice and soft, and then we'll do open close just because that's quite a good one as a as a little warm up, um, and then we'll have a. Yeah, feel free to have unofficial water breaks at whenever you want, or whatever it is you want. <coughs> coffee, sneak a coffee from the kitchen break, whatever. That's fine. And then we'll, we'll have an official uh, water break after we've done. Oh, well, we've finished open close. I'll just see what I messages. Hokey cokey. Yeah, that's right. The hokey cokey. Yeah, because that's what it's all about. That is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So, so, so you see it on Facebook, isn't it? What if the hokey cokey is really all it's all about? And I was like, yeah, that's quite profound. So, um, <laughs> someone, someone, yeah, people on Facebook, someone's uh, sent me a picture and it was two guys on a desert island with a bottle, the message, and they said it's from Steam. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. 
The song Message in a Bottle by Speed. Oh, it's a terrible song, but. <laughs> but it's, not, it's okay, but it, it goes on a bit. If it was half the, the length, I'd probably uh, like yeah, it. I, I got very <laughs> short attention span for things like that, but. Anyway, let's uh, let's do let's do Master Chun's exercise. So I'll come closer for the video. So I'll just be free because of the video, and then if they're watching it, they want to be able to see what I'm doing. So you breathe in, the hands float up. You breathe out, sink the hips, and then extend the fingers and open the palms of the hands. Then you breathe in, bring the wrists into the shoulders, and then breathe out and let go. So you let go between the shoulder blades, let go down the arm muscles. And it goes one, two, extend, three, and four. So in all the other classes we're doing the bad one gym at a much slower pace. <laughs> it's just for this one. One, two, extend, that's it, three, bring the wrists in, four, and let go between the shoulder blades, let go down the arm muscles, relax around the, the jaw, and one, two, Extend, open the palms of the hands. Three, bring the wrists into the shoulders. Four, let go. Let go down the arm muscles between the shoulder blades and just breathe in and breathe out. Check your posture. Check the contact with the feet. So you want to listen to your body. You want to pay attention to what you are doing and be mindful. And you want to you sort of respect your body, it's something that Barry's really into being the sort of really respecting what you know what you don't think that sounds quite nice. So I'm not say that. So here we go. One arms floating, two extend, three and four. Okay, open close. Wrists open, fingers open, breathe in. Wrist closed, fingers close. It's got much warmer, water. it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Those radiators are great. I do like this hall and it's radiators that work. <laughs> <laughs> Highly approved of things that work. No, because where I live, our boilers often, um, we've got this boiler that likes to switch off. Yeah. It's got a new hobby. And um, I went round with all my radiators and bled them. Oh, I like yeah. bled them when I was like a child. Yeah. And then the plumber came and went, No, you've got a new system. You don't believe these ones. Oh. That's why they're not working at all. <laughs> 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 you feel that small, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's it. Elbows, wrists, fingers open. <laughs> Elbows, wrist, fingers close. We're all going to have underground heating here soon, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, well, they're, they're still. Oh, I'll just to let you know, apparently there's going to be more traffic lights and roadworks again because they haven't got it right yet. The, the, uh, the heating yeah. for Swaffer. It's an experiment of heating. That's costing squillions of pounds. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't work well. So shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers close. Chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. 
chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers. So in this class, I might sort of, I'm, I'm, I've been um, doing the Tai Chi ruler, uh, which I learned many, 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 many moons ago. And I might resurrect. I was thinking, oh, I'm about to do that again. Oh, good way of doing something. Is by teaching it to other people, then you really have to know what it's great. It's really good. So we do now we go up to shoulder height, up to shoulder height, and down. So we're just feeling this open and close. Open and close happens in lots of places in 24 step, but we're, we're going to look at if I get if we get a chance, probably not. Brush knee and twist at kind of microscopic, possibly sub-microscopic detail. I mean, Carell reckons you can look at Tai Chi at a cellular level. And then he was saying, can you feel the energy in your mitochondria? And we were like, oh, God. And then he went, can you feel the energy in your subatomic particles? And I was just no. like, go, go away, go away. <laughs> so, you know, that was just silly. but. Subatomic particles are things, they're things found in atoms and outside atoms. They go, look it up on Google, and then you're, all your friends will think you're dead clever. And then we'll come up to the head and back down. You, you find them in hadron colliders. There we are. <laughs> they, they bash things together in physics and then see what comes off and measure it. And then they get these teeny, teeny, tiny things called subatomic particles. Sub means below, atomic means atomic, so they're very, very, very small. Something to follow asleep in front of at 10 in the morning. That's right, yeah, physics lectures online, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> things to do in lockdown, yeah. I know, I don't know anything about sub, I still don't know anything about subatomic particles because I've fallen asleep. <laughs> no, one more time. <laughs> And come all the way down. And we just do the. Uh. Marvellous. Uh. Excellent. Okay, this is a good point to have the official water break of class. So let's officially drink some water. I'll pull the video. Mm -hmm. The Bertram Gym will go will go really slowly. What does it mean? Eight strands of brocade. Bar one. Bar means eight. Well that's what it's translated as. It's been around for like centuries and centuries. It's even, it predates Tai Chi, this thing that we're, we're doing. So, um, wow. let's just feel the ground under the feet. Breathing in and out. It's all through the head. So you feel the, the head suspend through the head, sink the hips, just feel the ground under your feet. <coughs> Relax the shoulders. We're softly gazing forward as we listen behind and above. Muscles are sinking, or think of the muscles are sinking and softening, and then the supporting bones as floating or holding up all this rising energy in the supporting bones. And then we do that thing. Okay, so we just very gently just go through the move. So interlock the fingers, make a nice rounded shape in the arms. Just breathe in. Breathe out. So push up and then the heels leave the ground. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Oh, I 
I've got the in between bit, sorry about that. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Third round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fourth round, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Fifth one, so he normally does ten. Once we've got used to it, I think I'd rather build up to doing 10 if that's all right with you lot. <laughs> I was just like, 10? <laughs> so, because um, the thing is, we do five reps, so that means we've got to do five of that bend and bow and shoot the arrow. Imagine having to do that for 10, that's going to murder your legs, isn't it? Especially with one of them band things. So, we'll, we'll try the bands one day, oh, not now, because it, it's going to. Get it right without the bands first, but just, um, and I, I'm going to ask um, the Forever Active about using the terror bands because they're great. They're, they're, he really swears by them because, it, you know, I see he's doing the Tai Chi for rehab. Okay, bend the bow, shoot the arrow. So we start here, then we come in like that, and then have your left hand on the outside. We're going to step with the left foot first. So I'm going to move, so you come up high, then you step out with the left foot, heel toe, and then keeping your weight central, keep the weight in the middle, bend the bow, shoot the arrow, and then look with your disco pointy Tai Chi fingers. So I'll just show you, right, this is for the camera, we're doing this hand shape, this hand shape. I'll just see what we've written on the thingy. No, I know exactly how you go. I know. Like that. Like, like that. Yeah, so that one's palm out that way and this one's pulling. Oh. That's just pulling. But you want your weight in the middle and you want your hips and shoulders square onto the opposite wall. This is different to how I've done it with other people, so like that. Oh. There you go, that's it. That's it. Now he does it like that, but I. that's not... Whatever the Chinese equivalent of kosher is. So, <laughs> legitimate. When they do it, when you see the ones in the robes and the proper ch traditional Chinese outfits, and, and, and it's the Chinese masters doing it, they have their fingers like that. So I'm, I'm going to stick with them. <laughs> so I'll stick with them. Then you keep your hips sunk, you come in like that, but less wobbly fired than what I just did, and more graceful. And then you come up. <laughs> And then, so, then you step out, heel toe. So get your feet in the right place, then sink down. And then this scoots like round like that. And then you just do that four more times. Totally merges your legs, doesn't it? I mean, he does this for ten times. I think, oh, that's horrible. So as you sink, the shoulders sink and they stretch out. And you look imperiously to the side and if you really have to so that's pulling with the fist there are other ways if you really have to you can go like that if that helps and then you can that was officially taught to me by mark peters so i can do that so you come up 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 up, up. step heel toe weight in the middle weight 50 50 bend the bow shoot the arrow How many is that? It feels like we've done all five, but we won't. Uh, I think we've got three left, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Step. So we've got... Okay, movement number three. Come back to the middle. Keep yourself sunk down. It's the keeping sunk down that's the tricky bit, I find. 
in this hellish version, thank you Mark Peters. <laughs> Bet the bow shit the arrow. Although I've, I've, I've learnt an even hellier version from uh, Barry McGinley. He, he does this one where you really go on one leg, so one of your legs you just think, ouch. And it, it's very... That's it, don't get stuck. Come up and then we step. Sink and then bow shoot the arrow. And then we come back. I think this is the last one each side, is that right? No, no. I've lost yeah. the will yes. to me. <laughs> yes, it is. That's the answer to that thing. Come on. And then we come up. And we step. Oh, you're going to have to do some more then, aren't you? Yeah, you so, Right, you, you guys have a rest, right? Me and Amy are going to... Right, come on. Should we come in, come in. Are we come up? Oh, yeah, totally. And then you step out, and then we come out. Okay, in solidarity with Amy, we'll do one more insult. I like it, that's good. Oh. Right, okay. Oh, dear. That was very character building, wasn't it, everybody? Wasn't it, children? Yeah, so we just... Um, Thank goodness that one's over. <laughs> oh dear. I'm, I'm going to write, I'm going to complain to the head. Ah, oh, I can't complain to the head of the Yet Tai Chi Union because that's who I learnt this from. Oh. <laughs> I wish to complain to the head of the union about this. And it really hurt you. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Darn. Okay, so now we go like this. <laughs> we go up through the middle. And then this hand comes down, and then we do like that's very similar to kind of white crane spread its wings type movement. You turn towards the lower hand, so you turn towards the lower hand, and then you open the arms, bring them down, breathe out. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And keep going. So second rep. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. So it's called separating heaven and earth. And there's lots of different versions of this. Breathe out. So you want to feel that the whole body's connected, breathe in. So they're not really connected with each other, these eight movements, breathe out. So you can actually do them as single movements in themselves, according to what Mark said. Breathe in. And out. Third. Oh, Darren says hello, he's on holiday. <laughs> he's in Norfolk, so he can't come. <laughs> got dodgy Wi-Fi there, so... I suspect he might be drinking a pint. Mm, yeah. I know Darren. So what else are you going to do in Norfolk? Wonderful. And breathe in. Breathe out. <coughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. I really like, this is one of my favourite moves actually, because it just feels really peaceful with all the breathing and to focus on the breathing. Breathe out. Oh. Okay, one more each side, that's great. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out. Turn. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh. Breathe in. Breathe out. In, breathe out, 
Right, I've completely lost count. I'm so relaxed, I can no longer count. Let's do one more for fun. Breathe in. <laughs> one more each side for fun. I'm sure that will be the fire. Breathe out. Breathe in. So that is an example of not being mindful. Breathe out. Last one. I just like in this moment, so I can have as many as you want. I just love this moment. I could do it all day, this one. Yeah. And then we go back to the little full stop bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nice move. So it's called um, separating heaven from earth, or separating, not heaven from hell. I don't know who said separating heaven from hell. I think that was Edie. They're a naughty lot in Edie. <laughs> heaven and then one of them went, hell. I said, no, earth. <laughs> <laughs> watching too many horror films, yeah. you know. <sighs> I haven't from that. Okay, movement number four. Wise Owl looks around. So, Mark said the immortal words, this move is a hoot. And we were like, oh. No! My joke. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we come back. I mean, the closest I well, I went to an owl sanctuary and cuddled an owl, and then my next owl encounter, I almost hit one on the way off the A14, and I saw this white shape, and I thought, oh, look, there's a plastic bag. I said, what if it isn't a plastic bag? I will slow down and stop the car just in case. And I'm so glad I chose to, because it was a giant barn owl. Oh and I stopped with actually quite a big space between me and the owl. I'll have you know, so the brakes were working really well. And I got out of the car and I says, Oi, this is a really dangerous place for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked at me and then waddled off. Oh my god. Go on, shoot. <laughs> oh, I'd have been devastated. Yeah, no. My friend Brian had a beer named after him called Owl Killer because he actually hit an owl with his car oh, and he's yeah. vegan and he got into the pub in floods of tears and then everyone burst out laughing at him and said, oh, we're going to name our beer Owl Killer and it's still sold in this pub. Oh. Oh. But he, he drinks it. Because <laughs> he said, well, I might as well drink this beer. So it's named oh. after me. There you go. He's beer vegan. Yeah, he drinks vegan beer. It was a vegan beer they um, made just for him. Cool down, kill him. Gosh. Feet. Oh, t- <laughs> me. Yeah. Now we're up to about ten of these, so probably. Yeah, yeah, I like this move. I love it. It's great. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I think we've got. So, it reminds me a bit of Bird Folds Its Wings. It's got a similar feel to Bird Folds Its Wings but more of an opening in the chest. Okay, and we'll do one more, just cause. Oh, that is a nice move. I like that move, it makes up for all that macho bono. Um, I will resurrect the other versions of the bend the bow, shoot the arrow as well, because they're quite good to compare. They're quite good to compare. Okay, next. Bear wags its tail, mm-hmm. or as Mark calls it, Tai Chi twerking, if that helps. I prefer bear wags its tail. So you look off into the distance and you swing round. We won't do too many of these because it's a bit character building. And then you come back to the middle and sink. Then you go look, swing and stretch. Come back to the middle and sink. I think of a great big ginormous panda bear, you know, like Kung Fu Panda. Mm-hmm. And then look, swing, stretch. Back. And this is where you really want to do your sleepy tight eyes as well. So you're really looking. Look, 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 look. Ah. 
quite good. It's good, good for your. Uh, I think the eyes. Is, is it the liver they're related to? Who's the? I'll ask. Uh, I'll ask my. The the organ meridian from from Chinese medicine. So yeah, if you get bored of trying to look up astrophysics and particle physics, you can look up Chinese medicine. That's really incomprehensible on YouTube. But they've got uh, lectures on it because I was trying to learn all the meridians and the points and that. Mm trying to find an idiot's guide on YouTube and I did find something that was a bit for stupid people so that was good. There we go and come back to the middle and we turn, I think we'll, we'll stop after this one, that definitely feels like about a million, let alone ten. Come back and then we go. Oh. Movement number six, punching with angry gaze so you get into your horse stance and you get your angriest sort of grumbliest glare right so you know like, uh, like you've just seen someone go into 10 downing street with a crate of wine and you think that's very wrong <coughs> We're all stuck at home being good. So, here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out as you punch with your angry stare. And then breathe in. Breathe out. Now, I'm going to do Eva's variation on this because it's awesome. So as if you could like stare through that person. I used the angry stare actually to great effect when there were some people in the lounge next to my room having a party after 11. And at quarter to 11 I said, uh, we, we have a no noise rule after 11 and I've got to go to bed soon. And they went, oh yeah, sure. And then, uh, Quarter past 11, it was still noisy. I gave them half an hour's grace. So I got my wand out from my um, weapons rack and stood outside the back door with my wand out with my best angry glare, or soft fur tiger eyes, and said, right, you can all go now. And they did. So, punching with a focus, oh, that's great. So, you breathe out. That's my social life. <laughs> Party pooper. <laughs> what more time besides? Well, I had to get up and train in the morning. I mean, you know. Oh, great. And then we come back. <sighs> movement seven. Now movement eight is um, <coughs> that one. It was shape. <coughs> it was. I think it's called shape to dispel illness or something like. It's got this weird name. And you, you have your heels up and then you come down on them. But you want to not. It's not like you're falling down on them. You just place them firmly and then you you come up and then you do your far gym type. Like, if someone holds some pads and you hit them, there'd be this real deep thump through them. So, you're, like when you're punching, you hit through the pad, it's that kind of thing. So, we'll do, we'll do five of these. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And then we go back to that. And we do that. So I'll just show you the variation of the punching with a with focus gaze. It's sometimes called punching with focus gaze in the Bud uh, the Shibashi, the 18 set that we do in some of the health classes. We we're more upright and we breathe in as we punch in. Breathe in, and it's a soft focus gaze rather than an angry gaze. I'm going to stop. So, um, how many have we done? Oh, we've missed one out. Yeah, yeah, we've missed one out. Hang on. I'll get back to that in a minute. I wanted to show you Eva's, um, Eva's variation of the punching one because I just love it. 
Yeah, that was movement seven, and that was movement eight. Yeah, that's fine. I'm glad you were paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> that... I did it loads yesterday. I know, I did it loads yesterday before I was, because um, I, I was conducting the orchestra yesterday and um, doing a bit of singing and that. And um, so I like to do the Bud One Gym and 24 Step, and the first section of the lounge was my warm up before I played the music. And um, I did that one. Um, the this one where you for ages I maybe did about ten reps of that one. It just felt great. Really good for the hamstring. We'll work up towards that. Let's look at Eva's version. So Eva does it like this. So like that, but a bit quicker. And she's not bothered about the breathing. She's just breathe naturally. And then what she does is she look out and punch to the side, and then come back. You look out, punch to the side, come back out. Look out, punch to the side, come back out. Look out, punch to the side. Because they all learn various variations of these with whatever master they're learning with at the time. So again, you want to stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. One more time each side. And then what you do is that she does this energy fudge inversion where you go like this. <laughs> Like that. So the hands come out. Oh, I love this one. It's really, you can see what I wanted to do. Can't you? Four, five. Oh, let's do eight. I love this. Six, seven, and eight. And then you go out. You don't need to look to the side because we did both at the same time. Imagine you're bursting out the birthday cake. Two, three. Four. So as you sink, it goes out. Five, six. That's it. So you want to drop your hips. Seven, eight. So you're more like that rather than like that. You want to be more like, and it murders your legs. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a. It's just great. So if you had a, if you had like a cardboard box, if you was in a cardboard box and you did it, you'd have a, <coughs> a hole that you punched with your fists. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it was stretching up and I'll just show you. So it comes, oh, you start here again. So this is movement number seven that we're doing is movement number eight, because I can't count. <laughs> And it doesn't matter. Mark says it doesn't matter what order you do them in. Because they're eight separate entities that they just got thrown together. And, and some of the things, um, like, like I've learned a completely different version from ever. Ferris, we had the old wise owl that works around, it's like this. Um, if I can remember it, that's it. And then you'd come up the other side like that. So that's his version of Wise Al walks around, uh, Wise Al opens its wings. I prefer, I prefer that version, it looks really almost groovy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> almost groovy, but hard as it is. Yeah. It's really good. So I'll, I'll, I'll send you a review that, um, I got a re review in a jazz magazine of a gig I recently did. And I did a bit of Tai Chi at the beginning before I started playing, which is just a bit of, bit of Chen style, and then some Jan Wu, the um, spontaneous stuff. And then it said, my movements were almost Tai Chi like. And I'm like, no, it was Tai Chi. There's no almost about it. <laughs> I was sinking my hips, I was, I was engaged, I was connected. It's Tai Chi. <laughs> I was grounded. I was not <laughs> Tai Chi like, I'm like no it, it was but there you go so now we, we, we start here we come up now no going up on tippy toes that's the so we go like this and breathe out breathe in breathe out and you fold in the hip to shut up and the side go down back to the legs breathe in grab hold of your toes and stretch your legs. Oh my god, that's horrible. And then you breathe in. 
like this. So you breathe in, and it's like it's a bit like when we do the spinal wave. <laughs> it's that kind of when we do the spinal wave. So you you go like this to come up. So actually, we'll do that. We're going to split this up into bits. We're going to go like this, and then just put your hands on the top of your low back, and then do that. And think of pulling up through, someone's got a bit of a helium balloon that's pulling up through your head. So, see if that works. Okay, let's have a look at rowing the boat to the middle of the lake. I'll just see if there's any questions from here. It's, uh, yes, it is, exactly. You're exactly right, yes. Ever says when you're doing that, it's like, or it's Corel. No, it was Corel. Corel said, Imagine you've got a full nappy. And we were like, Actually, Corel, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, because if you see it, like when my nieces, oh god, they'll be really bad. Oh, they won't watch my video, they don't really like Tai Chi. It's too slow for them. Um, but, you know, if one of them had got a full nappy and it was really good, because then I could go, Oh, this one needs changing. <laughs> because I'm the auntie, and I can just like, mm. great. <laughs> oh dear, you know, I get them all. Right, there you go. Oh right. Um, How about that? But they, they like when they walk, and they're like this, and, mm. and you want to get that. Or the other way of thinking about it, which I much prefer. Imagine your bones of your pelvis and hips is made out of solid gold. Mm. Now I know which image I prefer, so whichever works. So what you do is when you're doing rowing the boat to the middle of the lake, which you'll do, you sink down with your solid gold pelvis and come up through. And there's um, so this floats, this floats, and this pushes to get upright. Uh, Mike is much better at the getting the real correct biomechanics. It's about biomechanics, how you how you move correctly. You want to move it correctly. So when we do uh, let's do rowing the boat to the middle of the lake and we'll also do polishing the table and then we'll have a look at that move again. I think I've worked out why I made a mental blank of it because I wanted to spend a bit of time on it. I think so. I just didn't tell my my subconscious didn't tell my conscious mind that's all right. the teacher. Mm. It's quite interesting, quite interesting. So let's do row the boat to the middle of the lake. No, I was just trying to, why did I leave that? Oh, I know why. Because I wanted to look at it. I, I wanted to look at it separately by doing lots of things related to it. So think about your 18 carat, 24 carat <laughs> pelvis. Yay! 24 carats, yeah! Love this. 18 carats, all full nappies. Now I want a, a solid gold, mate. Yeah, really good. 24 carats on my waist. Or you could try tying 24 big, fat, heavy carrots that they give to the horses. That'd sort you out. That'd help the hip sink, wouldn't it? <laughs> 24 carats. I think it's spelt different to carrot, yeah, isn't it? Exactly. It's yeah. not the same as an orange carrot, is it? No. Is it C-A-R-E-T? I can't spell it. C-A-R-A-T Carat 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 I can't remember But anyway it's not the same thing as the orangey thing that's full of vitamin A Carotene Beta carotene Carot Carrot should be purple. Yeah, I've eaten proper purple carrots. Oh, they're lovely. They're lovely. Yeah. How come they've gone orange then? We made them orange. How? Genetically transformed. That's them. bizarre. Anyway. Would be better. I think purple's a much nicer colour. Yeah, I just thought purple doesn't look like food. I think it does. I mean, I'm a genius yeah, purple. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, let's let's <laughs> let's focus on. <laughs> Polishing the table. So we just want to get that movement correct. Ooh. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Again, we are focused.
focusing on keeping our feet. Quite like the 18s, actually. Yeah, the 18s good, yeah. We might resurrect yeah. that. I mean, this class, because we've got an hour and a half, it just gives us a little bit more. Yeah, it's a warm-up. Yeah, and then um, the Friday Zoom class at horrible o'clock in the morning. That, <laughs> that's, yeah, we did a, t we did a form of fun. So we have less time, so we do more in it. <laughs> it's very bizarre. It's very bizarre. I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope I hope he's drinking his Guinness using Tai Chi principles. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we'll go one more time each side. <clears throat> okay. Right now, let's try this again. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, back, breathe out, breathe in, stretch, breathe out, come back, breathe in, and I'll just carry on. I think this is probably one of the harder moves for the whole set, actually. Wow. And then you come back to... Yeah. Any, any questions mm. on, on that move? That one. Oh, that one you just lift up and then let it fall down. That one's probably the easiest out of all of them. That one. Yeah, it's a nice way of finishing, isn't it? It's quite good. Yeah. Um, right, let's, let's just have a look at brush me and push as a little uh, walking exercise. So we'll, um, what I'll do is I'll move this back and we'll go, we'll go with that end and go for a little walk. <coughs> and then we'll... Right. Yeah, thanks for doing that. That's brilliant. And try it out at home, but I'd probably stick to the wimpiest bands. Yeah. You want to use yeah. the wimpy ones. Don't use the strong ones straight away because it can come properly. So you always want to use the most wimp wimpiest bands that are available. <laughs> we, were, we were intending that. We were yeah. Yeah, we're Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. you don't want to. Okay, let's just practice the four part walking pattern. One, <laughs> two, <coughs> Three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two. Three, four. So you just let the leg swing in and swing out. Swing in, swing out, 
And we're looking forward with our sleepy tiger eye gaze. We're listening behind and above. <coughs> So I step heel toe, transfer the weight, sink back, sink forward, and then two, three. This is still a bit bent. So you want to avoid straight legs. You want to have slight uh, unlocked knees, slight bend in the knees. And then um, what, what we're going to do now, I'll just show this way, is start from here. We're going to do brush knee and push. So what we can do is you can add an extra that is um, it's like if someone's coming to kick you and you, you do a little you do a little deflection. But obviously that kick is going to here rather than when it's there, that's too late. So you come in, you come in with your girl, with your, your block as they're at that point. If you get in there quick enough, that's what that, that is, this bit. Boom, brush knee, push, brush knee, push. I mean, I'd have a guard up, you know, brush knee, push, that, that kind of thing. So this is just for the form. But the idea is you're, you're deflecting something, moving it out of the way and pushing. So we're going to do brush knee and push. So we're going to have left cat stance. Left cat starts, drop the right hand over, right hand holding the ball on the right hip. Then we step, brush knee, and push. Three, bend the knee, four. One, <coughs> two, three, four. One, two, three,
three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. I'll turn around the mirror. This time, side step. One side step. Two grasp the sparrow's tail. Three white crane spreads its wings. Four, twenty percent of the weight in the front foot. I'll turn around again. Five, drop the right hand to the right hip. Six, hold the Easter egg. Yeah, brush knee and push. One, two, three. Sink back. Four, sink forward. One step. Two, brush knee and push. Three, twist step. Four, sink forward. One more time. One, brush knee and push. Two, push. This time, spear hand with your right hand. Spear hand. One, two, cut down. Three, and four. Step back and repulse the monkey. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three. Step back and repulse the monkey. Four, four three, two, three. Four, one more time. One, two, three, four. End of the first third. Great. So we're working on the first third this for however long we need to. Come round in a in a in a circle. Yeah. So we've got nothing. We've got the zoom, we've got me. Great. Excellent. Any questions? No. Okay, let's do, we'll do this one and then we'll look at sun and moon and we'll look at triple heater because I like triple heater as an exercise, I think it's lovely. And that's my phone, I'm really sorry I forgot to put it on mute. It's probably my mum. I've just sent her the review of a gig I inaugurated. It's quite famous. <coughs> Sorry? So does she really know you? You never finish on time. She she doesn't know what I'm, I mean, you know, she doesn't know how much how many classes I'm teaching. <laughs> I always have the wrong stuff. I'm gonna forget some work. Bless. Breathe in. Sun and moon. Breathe out. We're we're kind of almost on time. I mean I was a little bit late starting, so. So you just want to tune into the feet. So remember we were paying attention to the contact with the feet. I can't be too late because I don't want to be late for my next class because they're really tough and scary. Mm -hmm. You know, they do all this chop socky stuff and thump people and in French because it's about oh. Yeah, French kickboxing is amazing. I'm I'm terrible at it, it's so good. The good thing is, is if you're that bad at something, you can only improve. So I always feel I've achieved, you know. I'm <laughs> completely useless. So it's like, oh, rubbish, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, Barry's just taken up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he's just got his yellow belt or, or blue, oh. or he's got his green belt, and he was absolutely over the moon. It's like, oh. and he's like a advanced level, pushing senior level Tai Chi instructor. It's very good, very good to. Put yourself completely out of your comfort zone. Very good. Okay. Triple triple heater. So it's the sand gel. It's called sand gel exercise because sand gel means triple heater, triple warmer. It's uh, an organ in Thai, uh, in Chinese medicine that has no Western equivalent. And many an acupuncturist has tried to explain it to me, and it just with the tumbleweed going the other direction. But this is for this in this organ that they can't find. <laughs> and they do three lots of three, so this is the third one. Um, 
And one more time. There we go. Lovely. Whoops. Embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. Nice. <coughs> One more, and then we'll all look super young. Brilliant. So rub the hands together <clears throat> and polishing the face. Super young, us, very And we'll rub the hands together again and give the lower back a rub. Couple more rounds of embrace the tiger return to the mountain, but before we do that, posture check. So again, we're trying to maintain the focus of attention, which means focusing on the feet. There we go. Embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. Nice and tall. Really own your space. Very important for us ladies actually to feel comfortable owning our space. Really important. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top. Bring your feet together. And back. Woo! Well that was an amazing class. Well done. Great. Well done. And hopefully we'll get Darren back because we, you know, we could do with some fellas. And if you know any men, bring them along. <laughs> What's more people? Drag them in. Get them screaming. Okay, well done. <laughs>